Hello, everyone. Welcome to Foodix. Have you ever seen this kind of food? Some are golden, some are black, but they are all have the characteristic of being very smelly. Is this food really eatable? In today's episode, I'm going to introduce you to sticky tofu, a traditional Chinese snack. When people think of a sticky tofu, the first thing they think of is its smell. The stench of sticky tofu can spread over a wide area near food stalls, and people nearby can often smell the pungent smell. So, where did this sticky tofu come from? Why do people eat this smelly food? Actually, this food has a long history. There are two main theories about the origin of sticky tofu. In the first version, Zhu Yuanzhang, Empire of Ming Dynasty, was born poor and worked as a beggar in his youth. Once, when he was too hungry to bear it, he picked up some spoiled tofu and fried them in oil, stuffed them into his mouth right away, and that taste was unforgettable. Later, when he became a military commander, he ordered the whole army to celebrate by eating stinking tofu. The second is that. He Ruhua, a scholar of the Ming Dynasty, said in his writing that people of Yixian country in Anhui province were mostly like to make tofu change color and grow hair with salt in summer and autumn. After the tofu is cleaned and fried in boiling oil, it will have the smell of crocodile, which is very novel and popular. Stinky tofu varies greatly in the way it's prepared. And eaten in China and around the world, as well as in the way it tastes, but all have the characteristic of stinky but delicious. How does stinky tofu stink? There are two main processes for making stinky tofu: fermentation and non-fermentation. The stench of fermented stinky tofu comes from sulfides and amino acids produced by microorganisms, while non-fermented stinky tofu is caused by smelly brine. No matter what kind of sticky tofu, no matter how smelly or less, this food is good for people's body. It contains protein and trace elements. Professor Okoda of Tokyo Agriculture University found that foods such as sticky tofu and kimchi contain high levels of cytochemicals. Sticky tofu is still popular, most notably in Changsha and Nanjing. Changsha stinking tofu is also known as chou ganzi by local people in Changsha. It's black outside, tender with crispy crust, fresh and spicy. It's made of fermented black beans, soda, mushroom, winter bamboo shoots, and salt. Nanjing stinking tofu is a golden yellow fried lump of piled tofu with a relative light smell. This is all for this episode. Don't forget to praise and comment if you like my video. Welcome to subscribe my channel. See you next time.